The world desperately needs a materials revolution to address the plastic waste crisis. Traditional recycling or mechanical recycling is a good place to start, yet it has its limitations. But what if plastic waste could be broken down at the molecular level to its basic building blocks and then used to create new materials an infinite number of times? At Eastman, we're doing just that. We are revolutionizing recycling at the molecular level, repurposing waste that would otherwise end up in landfills, incinerators, or the environment. But how do you know how much your recycling decisions benefit products? We do it with an approach called mass balance, which works like this. Plastic waste is fed into our advanced circular recycling technologies. The waste is broken down into its original molecules and is fed into our production system where they replace a portion of fossil-based input materials. These recycled molecules are accounted for in a precise inventory system called mass balance. The recycled molecules are indistinguishable from the building blocks produced with fossil-based resources. Mass balance is important because it helps enable recycling to happen and to be accurately accounted for in existing world-scale manufacturing plants. When we make our sustainable products, the appropriate amounts of recycled materials are deducted from the mass balance inventory. Based on mass balance standards, we can only sell as much sustainable product as we have created from recycling. In turn, more waste plastic is fed into the advanced circular recycling system to replenish the inventory, and the cycle continues. Thanks to mass balance, we can track amounts of recycled content within existing integrated infrastructure. Not only will it allow brands to make allocated recycled content claims to help meet their sustainability goals, but it's a necessary step to enable the shift in society towards a more circular economy.